Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Valley Cast. Hey Hi. everybody, what's up? Hi Elliot. Hey. Hi Elliot. Hey. Hi Elliot. Hey Elliot. Hi, Hi, Elliot. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Elliot. Hi oh, Killian. Killian. Hey, well, uh, can't nice believe living in here. Guys, and we got Kellen here. What's going <laughs> on? Don't feel like watching movies, so I'll watch people guess them instead. I don't know how it goes. I think it starts with your show. I <laughs> really can't believe we get Kellyanne and Elliot here. Uh, welcome to the guest. Thank you. Show. What's your name, Valley Cast? Kelly Ellie. Uh, Did you call me Valley Cast? Oh. <laughs> What's your name, Valley Cast? Hey guys, we got Ellie here. I'm Ellie. Ellie Zai. How do you spell, say your last name? Zai. Zaya. Zaya. No, I'm kidding. It's Zayas. We have Zayas. Zayas. That's fun. We have the first female here in uh, 20 years. Yeah, that's true. It has been 20 years at least. Yeah, you smell we're good. To, we're so tongue tied. I don't know how to turn this that's off. Right. They so we're having so a hard good. time finding our groove. We're nervous. I feel like Disney's got their own formula for their bubbles and stuff. Welcome, we guys. We discussed this. Elliot, you did your own little oh. um, surprise episode of Valley Cast. And, oh, and yeah. on the last episode, do you want to talk about that a little bit? or No. Um, great. I had a great time. <laughs> awesome. I talked about a lot of stuff, and I talked about uh, Kid Rock's uh, new anthem, uh, which was really fun. Yeah, if you guys missed that, um, there was a lot of positive... Um, response to that people, people love people Kid enjoyed Rock. it people nice. enjoyed it yeah, and it i like fun. and i like it too when we kind of get a little bug under our butts and are like you know what i'm gonna do a little thing that's a little different maybe yeah and i'll just like you know help my pals out and, and yeah. do a thing because you nice. know i was going to the east coast and joe's been worked Busy to the boy. bone <laughs> And, you know, Kevin, you're busy now, and yeah. Ellie. And, uh... <laughs> and I also had something to do that night, too. And so Ellie there had was something a little to do bit that night. Uh, but that's okay. But look, whatever the reason, I think it ended up working out really well. And if you guys haven't listened to that episode, you should back up and back up. Uh, pause we'll this one and go check out that one really You quick. also talked about alchemy. I did talk a lot about alchemy. Lot about Ooh, alchemy. I don't want to talk about alchemy. No, we don't need to. Steve Elliot gets did. very upset. Have I you? just, you know. Have you I heard know. of a chimera? We could talk about Chimera, yeah. What's Chimera? Yeah, I don't know. I've only heard is. it from Full Metal Alchemist. But no, it's the like when you mix an animal and a human. Yeah. Yes, nice. but I thought the I thought the Chimera was oh. like a specific oh. thing. Like a Wendigo? Isn't it? Uh, is it like an urban legend? Chubacabra? There were some it's not alchemists an urban legend. that tried to grow humans. They tried to come up with the first test tube babies, and they they <laughs> one claimed to have done it. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I can't wait. Wait, for one, that. one, what now? One claimed to have made a um, a baby and a test tube out, out of uh, semen and dirt and planting <laughs> it in the, the ground. Wait, what year? And no. we all know that that's not true. Time. Okay, so there's no photographic. We or all anything. know that that's not yeah. possible. <laughs> and uh, and people believed him, but every time they asked this, he said, oh, "No, I can't show you." And wow. he eventually well, said that he had to kill it because it was not fair for a, a being to be born without a soul. Wait, so it was living? It was no, actually. No, he claimed he, he killed claimed. it. Like, oh, I killed it. You can't. What see if it was him? The real thing? Yeah, he grew him and it like just morphed oh. into himself. So. <laughs> yeah, God. there was Whoa. something going on. There's something Whoa. going on with him. Oh, that's an interesting um. idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the chimera, excuse me, uh, my internet's being kind of a butthole oh, right now. No. Chimera, the chimera, chimera, chim chimera, chim chimera, chim chim chimera. The Chimera. The half metal man and the... Half metal boy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just a man and a boy. Are you looking it up? <laughs> C-H-I-M. Oh, no. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Let me look it don't up. Don't look it up. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Remember that picture of like a dog human giving birth to like... Was that real? Whoa, I haven't seen Excuse that. Excuse me? A dog human. <laughs> it was I choose like... to believe everything. I was like... Here we go. Chimera. A... Sorry, go ahead. What, there was like a picture of like a dog, but it was like hairless and it looked like a human, and it was like feeding little dog human puppies. Whoa, and I think this? it was like an art piece, but I oh. swear to God, I thought it was real. Oh, I think I've seen it. Yeah, it's like all foldy skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's an art piece. Okay. There's an artist that does these like Why super do, scary, we hyper. Talk real... about how artists will post something and then kids will believe it for the rest of yeah. their lives. Well, because artists, you know, that's that's the whole thing. We, we're going into the uncanny valley fast. And also kids are idiots. 
and yeah, kids I was are idiots, idiot, and things. Yeah. It's hard to know what's real at this point. Yes, Philippus, DeFranco, Aurelius, <laughs> DeFranconus, Aurorilus, Theophrastus, Bombastus, Von Hohenheim, Mister Bombastic, no. I'm a fantastic, commonly known as Paracelsus. He was a Swiss Renaissance physician, botanist, alchemist, and astrologer, and general cultist. She's the one that had that cultist. sex tape, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what started the whole TikTok. <laughs> All right. Paris Hilton. Did you find Chimera? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, um, so according to uh, Hesiod. Who's that? Wait, Man actually, this website. is a, sorry. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I was reading an Assassin's Creed <laughs> website. <laughs> the Chimera... Um, uh, also, Chimera is an ancient Greek, uh, which which translates to oh, in ancient Greek it translates to she goat, but according <laughs> to Greek mythology, it was a monstrous fire breathing hybrid creature composed of different animal parts um, from Lycia, Anim- Asia Minor. This reminds it's me. It's a minor. Of, it's uh, an A minor. Yeah. <laughs> What's the so movie we watched up. pretty recently? The scary movie that you show me with the the oh, creepy. That- Oh, uh, the ritual. The ritual. Oh, the ritual. The ritual monster. That you guys like no, that? Yes, I like that. I like that movie. No, but he wasn't a chimera. He was. Uh, he was, he like was a, a god. Forest god. He was yeah, a god, okay. and he was like a son of Loki. But I or see something. why oh, you yeah, made the connection nope, because Loki, animal parts. It's an amalgamation yeah. of different animals yeah. and stuff. It's got antlers and. And it has like, like the little arms. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It was it's a cool creature design. Yeah. That's the only reason why, or not the only, but it's like the main reason why it's my favorite movie. Because the creature design mm-hmm. yeah love a good creature's design it's been a while since we've seen a uh, good inspired monster you creature think design stranger things was good no no nope. agreed I think it, I think I think the thing with Stranger Things is in here. I don't want to shit too much on Stranger Things, Elliot. I know you like it a lot. He loves it. <laughs> you imagine? Like I've ever you given just, yeah, a yeah. shit. I don't think I've ever heard you bring up Stranger Things ever. I have nothing against it. Just no, the most no. Neutral. <laughs> you have zero opinion. What a crazy weird way to gaslight. <laughs> Elliot, I'm sorry if I offend you. You can jump in when you get angry. <laughs> I know this is going to bother you. Yeah, I know you got a lot to say about this, so I'll give you a second to collect your thoughts. But, um, you know, I think the thing with Stranger Things is, is like, I think it's cool. I think the first season mm-hmm. is awesome. I think the whole show as a concept is really cool. I just think that um, it's entirely built on nostalgia, and I think that yeah. they really milk the fuck out of it. Yeah. And I had to stop watching because yeah. of it i think because it really became obnoxious i stopped at season two yeah i stopped at season that might three. be where i'm at well was season three the one with the boat the boat shop yeah. the sailor yeah it is kid? episode yeah. three or season three episode four. Three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> here he comes with his knowledge sorry i, just, I couldn't go anywhere um, but uh yeah it was uh it was it, i just kind of lost interest i guess but i understand why people like it a lot and um i it's cool that it exists and it's certainly made by people that really loved the 80s and lo- and were inspired yes. by it in a big way and i think that's fine um it is fine it's fine it's okay I, I, I totally fine creature design kind of uninspired i feel Agreed. like it's just taken from too many things which I've that kind of nails that point yeah. yeah i hate let me get on a soapbox Let's but i hate it. i hate it when creature designs thank you no go ahead i hate it when creature designs are just long people you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or they just exaggerate I, one part. Or yeah, the fingers, like, shut up with yeah, the fingers, I dude. Agree, I agree. I think that there's a weird, we're in a uh, realm of, like, uh, people having fun with kind of, like, taking a real, unique person's physical form and then transforming them into some kind of creature. And I think mm-hmm. that looks better on film than, like, a CG thing. Yeah. yeah. Certainly, but... Like Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There you go. The, the Steve Martin movie the with Steve the Steve Martin nose. romantic comedy. <laughs> the Cyrano de Bergerac yeah. uh, thing. But uh, yeah, I think that they've they've decided that like putting people that have weird physical bodies into prosthetics is like yeah. the only way to have monsters now, which is kind of boring. What was at that this point. Angelina was it Angelina Jolie? She was in a witch movie and she had like fingers like this. Oh, was and- it Maleficent? No, no, it was called like the I witch. I remember, it. yeah, it was something. Not weird. W- the one with Anna, whatever. It, she had like hands like this, and she got like the movie got in trouble because it was like 
making fun of people who actually had oh, whatever oh. she had. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, it wasn't making fun of it, but it just looked it just, a lot like yeah. someone who mm. was, you know, mm. born with the tragic. Thing. Yeah. I think that movie that um, M. Night Shyamalan did. Uh, ah. spl- split. <laughs> I want more least. details, but I don't. Also, I don't <laughs> talk about it. I, I'm just trying to not talk. Say that people who are born different are freaks. Yeah, <laughs> right. but but certainly they might have a better chance at getting a job in the entertainment industry these days. Yeah, American Horror Story is hiring. American Horror Story is hiring. Uh, but um, yeah, I think w- I can't think of the last like truly inspired like unique looking monster I know, design that's what i was design. trying to think of they're all anthropomorphic what about cloverfield is that the word i'm looking for bipedal anthropomorphic uh, what am i looking for where it's like you, you've got good. two legs two arms and a head yeah it's humanoid like, yeah. bipedal yeah. like humanoid, i'm yeah. sick of it let's have what some about, let's get some uh, hp lovecraft arrival fucking, Arrival was with it with like the smoke. Oh, that you know? that looked exactly like a. Oh, oh, those, those yeah, things. those yeah, were yeah, a little sure. different. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. But they didn't show them that much. I liked the mist monsters. I haven't seen that. Remember that movie, The Mist? Uh-uh. Yeah, the mist had some cool. The, the mist had some like dumb looking shit, but it it also had some just really like cool a spider. Shit. People either take like you know Slenderman kind of looking yeah. people and like you know Siren Head. It's not a movie, yeah. but it's like a it's character. A concept. Yeah. yeah. That one's okay. I appreciate that one because he's giant. But yeah. like, I think whatever. the scariest is the uh, the the non scent when you can't see where the head and the yeah brain go yeah and yeah. You yeah. Get into like the the weird H.P. Lovecraft where it's off center yeah. and one thing sticking out. You it's think of asymmetrical. like DC creatures? I want yeah. like mm-hmm. yeah. I want a stupid amount of like limbs or heads or something like something i want like, something unfathomable yeah mm-hmm. like you ever, you ever seen those memes of like what angels the classic like, yes. biblically accurate angels? dude those yeah, are the exactly best thing in the about. world yeah. yeah like that's fucking badass wheels it's and so eyeballs epic. sticking Just out eyes wheels. going into crazy like patterns and, and a flame <laughs> like a flame ball yeah. Yeah. in the middle just for, yeah. and it just makes noise and it talks to you and you don't know right. where it's coming right, from. right right <laughs> oh uh, i i love that like i want to see more weird like bring yeah. out the weird, fucking mind blowing looking creatures. Imagine yeah. a whole show just based around those characters. Like th- that was the main. Characters. Like those were the those were the main species. The main people. Yeah. So you see them all in their society yeah. and yeah. stuff. It's all about them occasionally seeing one of us. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, You know what would terrifying. be cool if someday someone just made a show like that that was like not even subtitled and just like <laughs> just like, making noises everything is like you've never seen it before yeah like these angel creature things go up to these like but there's enough these to make cloud sense of it. things and like all these like flashing light things yeah. happen and stuff and it's like what the fuck is happening and it just like moves away from it and then like yeah goes to a like it's a, like a new form of a silent movie yeah except, yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> people are doing weird shit out there so okay um, welcome to the show, guys. We're gonna jump around in tangents and shit, and get crazy well, and talk about whatever we want. In the uh, spirit of having a guest, Ellie, would you like to perhaps introduce this is my yourself? girlfriend? Give Ellie. a slight yeah. Tell yeah. people who the hell you are. <laughs> slight background. Um, thank go you. Ahead. Thank you. No, go ahead. Um, I'm Ellie. I'm Kevin's girl f- girlfriend. Um, Great. I'm a graphic designer, and I do some of that stuff i recently moved here like three months ago I think. yeah from florida from florida i'm mm-hmm. going back in like a week though forever yeah. i'm getting out of here bye. yeah bye i'm out of here <laughs> let's get the hell out of here <laughs> we didn't need no more new la boy la boys anyway well I'm, yeah that's true <laughs> Why didn't you get it to stick to her? I know, I can't, you It's know. not, I want it to stick to my hair. All right, we can make that happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just get All right. And Play the... <laughs> Um, I don't know what music. else to say. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Are you okay? You can make, you can ask this to stop. No, it's okay. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> I'm not Italian. I'm Cuban. Which, oh. speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm the president of Cuba's daughter, so you better respect Whoa. me. This is true. Oh, shit. I think I've told you guys this. What is it? The daughter of Cuba? The president. Of, <laughs> you're the president of Cuba's daughter? <laughs> That's what she it's said. It's like something. It's like, she, it's like her great, great, great yeah. grandfather oh, cool. was the president of Cuba. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. His That's, name was last name Do you want to go back in time and where it fucking matters? Uh, <laughs> anyway, so. Um, <laughs> okay. Stranger Things. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
And we're here with Finn Wolf. <laughs> uh, so your family is, are they still in Cuba? <laughs> Not anymore, no. They Not moved. Years. Well, my dad was like the first, um, I guess, what, first generation American Cuban. Like he lived in Cuba in like a big mafia looking castle house. Cool. I saw pictures of it and I was like, how'd you get money for this? And he was like, I don't know. We don't want to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. We want to talk about it. Yeah. I mean. Probably bad stuff. Mm-hmm. Scary bad stuff. What do your folks do now? He's a doctor. Mm, that's for cool. alchemy. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. He's a radiologist. <laughs> Makes it homunculus. Oh, yeah. saving lives? Yeah. That's cool. I mean, not really. He just looks at bones. But trying to save lives. Sure. Like he, his, do you think his research or his work leads to saving lives? There's a lot of soap in my hair. <laughs> that's yeah. kind of weird. Uh, he, he does his that's work. That's kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Uh, he, his work, you think, leads to helping people, though? I think so. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. You should be proud of that. Yeah, I, I didn't do it. Yeah, but, you know, you're related to that. Yeah. You get it by Which do you think is better, saying? being related to a, a radiologist or being related oh, to... Oh, the president the, of Cuba. Okay. You think so? Because the president... That's you think the she, president of Cuba did some good stuff when he was the president no. of Cuba? But what, which do you think is cooler? <laughs> I want to know where being a uh, girlfriend of Kevin... I guess radiologist oh. is cooler yeah. to me, yeah. Okay. What about a president radiologist... Ooh, Ooh, now, now we're, we're talking! talking. <laughs> now we're in the big yeah, league. Calm down. Tell how uh, we met. Instagram. The yeah, Instagram. Which and, one? But which, uh, which tell one? the whole story. Yeah, tell the story. Meta? You want oh, me to tell the story? Oh, God. yeah, you guys met on Meta? No, we met because of the <laughs> Because of dy- oh, dynamic Oh, yeah, banter? I drew a picture of, like, you guys were talking about some weird um, movie about, like, a Pixar movie called Skins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was Dude, just. That's crazy, because I was just looking at the subreddit, and someone brought that up. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Well, I drew a picture of it like three, four years ago, I guess. Four years yeah. Oh, of what it looked like. Yeah, yeah and it was just that. like a, a fleshy person, but like they, they had like, I, whatever. And this You'll was like right when I was it. starting at Valley Folk. <laughs> yeah. When she did that. So, okay. And did you know about Valley Folk too? Mm, yeah. Okay. That was unconfident. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I knew more about dynamic, dynamic banter. banter. Yeah, that was the intro. And then I was like, "Yeah, I'll follow them. Whatever." That's fun. Yeah. No, <laughs> and then, um, and then you guys, do you I connected it? You slid into the DMs. He did. No, I did. Sorry. You did. Ooh. I well, he that. followed me. I saw that picture, followed her, and then like two months later, she replied to my story on Instagram, and then that just started the conversation. That's nice. nice. That all well played. And then he yes. asked for my Snapchat. Yeah, Whoa, sure did. That's a big move. Yeah, you know what your plans are. Because yeah. at that point, you could be like, uh-oh, here comes the dick pics. That's right. I was like that. I did think that a little bit. That's so funny, because no, that it's didn't okay. even cross my mind. Because really, that's what kids are using now Snapchat it is. for these now days. Now it yeah. is. Yeah. I didn't know how old you but were. But what did you want to do? You wanted to like have little video conversations? Because yeah, you wanted to take like, it to yeah. the next level. Text. Yeah. yeah. And that was before you could do that in Amazon. Or in, uh, in Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. Sorry. It's it. really just, you know, all the social media companies <laughs> and businesses and stuff that we're all getting into yeah. the dirt of. Uh, it's getting into Meta our brain. And Facebook and Instagram and all that. But you Meta. guys, that was before you could have a video chat inside of Instagram. I, I think so. I don't know. I was still using Snapchat to text friends and send okay. pictures okay, to so friends. So I was just it. using okay. it. It's deleted now. And then were you using it, Ellie, at the time? Or do you have yeah. to get it? It's good that you no, I, it. I was using all it. All you young kids <laughs> use Snapchat. Or yeah. Had it. Had it. Not yeah. anymore. Now it's just porn. And then you guys <laughs> st- became a, better acquainted via video, and that's when the well, then yeah. butterflies yeah. happened? Then we first met. At the New York, at New York Bell, the Bell House, House which for the Valley yeah. Folk Show, where you were just at, where, I was, just where at. he was just at, full circle, yeah. Um, but we still weren't like thinking that we were going to start dating because I was like, "You're in Florida and I'm in California," mm-hmm. and then a few months later was when we were, like he, confessed. He confessed. Yeah. Oh, how'd that go? Were you upset? I said no. Good. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I was like, okay. Were you angry? Yeah, I was. <laughs> you were pretty, <laughs> I was pretty pissed off. She did get angry because after I confessed, there was another girl that I was interested in and then was still oh, talking to her. My yeah, gosh, she dude. still gets mad Shit. over that. No, Uh-oh. I don't. No, it's just because you keep bringing it up. But it's like. Name, <laughs> names, name names and share handles. Or get I didn't even. Well, actually, I do have her name, but she was a cashier that I got her number. Well, you. Uh-oh. Okay, so we can Haley talk Steinfeld, about. Time for you to cash out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can talk about this because you were talking about it on Twitter Paper all plastic. the time. 
Yeah, I don't care about talking about it. It's just, uh, it's classic. It's what always happens. It's just one of those one of those tales as old as time. That's right. Would you right. agree that it's classic, Ellie? <laughs> Was it, is it? Oh, uh, that's classic. Well, look, it doesn't matter where all the where all the roots started sprouting. That's true. You guys are yeah. here as some healthy looking plants. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, you got to cut off some roots sometimes to prune a more beautiful tree. You do, and when it starts getting a little old. Chop it down. Kevin, you just chop it around. <laughs> <laughs> you can also buy certain types of manure and just uh, put it in uh, uh, poison it from roots. Oh, in. yeah. You could definitely poison it. <laughs> yeah. Kill it from the ground up. How long have you guys been together now? <laughs> Almost Four or five years? Almost three. Wow. Almost seven three. Seven years. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wedding? I'm hearing wedding was, bells. I was what are you doing for the five years? Old. What are you guys doing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the simulation today? that we wanted yeah, to bring yeah. up? Yeah, you guys are done talking about your relationship. Yeah, you I think feel you like can we've get talked about it. No, I feel like we've talked okay. about it before. And yeah. is all I the don't... interesting stuff oh, done? Like, yeah. You, you got all the interesting um, what was the stuff last big fight? You left me out in the snow. Oh, you didn't need shit. to answer it. I, I, oh, <laughs> this was uh, this was at the no. This was th- this was at the Bell House before Damn. we started dating. Did you almost die? Yeah. Damn. No, I'm kidding. Um. Why'd you leave but, her out in the snow? Because he was working, probably. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly why. It's <laughs> a good reason, and you need to I forgive was, him for that. I, no, <laughs> and yeah. probably forgot you were out there and had work to do. Didn't yeah. forget. We were still texting. Okay. Yeah. But you were and like... my fingers got cold. You were far between. between. So many typos because they're freezing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened. Sorry, uh, I picked a little bit. No, then, that's okay. You get, go ahead. It'll be t- it handled in the uh, air. Jesus. Kevin will take care of it. <laughs> Um, all right, but, well, yeah, that's we're, some cute shit. None. We're glad you guys are still together, still going strong, uh, no longer separated by an entire continent. That's right, a full continent. A full continent? That's not true, but a full continent. One full giant continent? Continent. Continent? And <laughs> now you're I here said in Los Angeles. I know, so did I. <laughs> and uh, it's really exciting. Uh, but enough of that bullshit. Uh, before we started talking on the show... Uh, we were talking about, uh, you okay? Oh, crap, <laughs> No. Elliot's on one. Elliot. We were talking about, uh, I'm sorry. sorry. The, the, uh, the ever popular simulation theory that Beautiful. we all live in a simulation. T- show of hands. Who thinks we live in a simulation? Like, legitimately? Because I, I think it's fun to think about it. I think it's possible, but I don't I think it's possible. care enough to I have a 100% question. believe it. If we live in a simulation, like kind of like the Matrix, doesn't that just kind of move the goalposts a little bit? Like, it still just brings in... Like, that's what I mean. It doesn't change. Well, changes that's, nothing. Yeah, yes. that's, that's my whole thing. Like, the, it, it's... It, and and I guess that makes it less dangerous. Yeah. In the, in when you find people who like truly believe it or something, because mm-hmm. like you know, there's. I like in the I connect the idea of the simulation theory to like this. I think it's as bonkers and crazy as like organized religion and cults Flatters. and things like that. It's the flat newer. earthers. It's just a newer thing. Yeah, and it's like you believe whatever the fuck you want to believe as long as you're not hurting people, right? Yeah. Like that's kind of like that's I'm where gone. I'm at at least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No cap. Um, and when I think about the simulation theory, it's really fun, and there's a lot of really cool theories and fun offshoots, and I love talking about it, and could talk about it like for days probably. Let's do it. Um, and we should. Uh, but yeah, like ultimately, it, whether you believe in the simulation or not, there's really nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can. Nope. There's no way to utilize that. I think. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to someone who said that there. The way that you can utilize it, though, is for decision making. Like making decisions. Like you You'll could be, be like, bolder if you think. Yeah, if you think it's a simulation. Or like the, if uh-huh. you feel like the simulation is serving us in some way. Like, because a lot of people feel like, all right, let's. let's but where does that belief let's talk come about from? Where, let's talk about the simulation theory in, gen, in general. Yeah. Just for people who are like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so the idea is very basically that we are living in something designed by a higher intelligence and we are our existence is being utilized for the purpose of whether it's research or 
I don't know, maybe some sick, fun game. Like, yeah. like I've heard it compared to playing a video game. Like The Sims. Like The Sims. I, I always think of The Sims. When yeah, or, or, it up. or not just The Sims. Like, a game where even you control some kind of protagonist mm-hmm. or something. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. The, there are theories that we are all controlled by something, and all the decisions we're making are based on this, like, user's kind of decisions and things like that. I owe a lot of forgive or uh, apologies to whoever's controlling <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you well, must be so bored. Or it makes me feel, I guess it's an easy way to kind of like wash your hands of the like the shitty mistakes you've made. Yeah. In it's life. like the God, yeah, it's me. like the believing in God, Ex- you just exactly. yeah. vocalize them exactly. just to you. Yeah. Exactly. So there's all these different theories and stuff, and they're all fun and interesting and curious and uh, really sci fi kind of based. And, and my whole like, like general idea about the simulation theory is like, you know, the concept alone uh, is means that. Uh, you know, we have the 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 ability to think beyond like our existence, I guess. But can we fathom that? And is it fathomable? The idea that there's something that created that, like you know, we talk about God in that way all the time. Yes. Mm-hmm. But the reason why the God thing is kind of makes more sense and is believable is because it's like this is like you can imagine a man that's just mm-hmm. in control of shit. But with the simulation theory, you really can't connect it to any kind of like a being. It's unfathomable mm-hmm. in in most cases, which makes it even more because, interesting than God. But I, I think. think that's because it's still so new. I think that when the time when we keep growing, we're gonna have like things, whatever they are, machines or whatever that are so human like in a way. Yeah, like they're almost like the new human right the next evolution of life yeah is ai because if you think like back to like mm-hmm. dinosaurs yeah we there was no human right figure right it was just dinosaurs right there wasn't a humanoid yeah i mean the humanoids didn't come around until after the dinosaurs right mm-hmm. no we were walked about six thousand years ago oh, six thousand years we walked with, with the dinosaurs them. but not like t-rexes and shit like absolutely that. oh really all we the were... time we used to ride them around and that was before the <laughs> art got built <laughs> You could go to And there was one big beautiful garden and a very few rules. <laughs> uh, also, but... I like the idea that you were talking about the ways that it happens or the reason why it was became a thing, like if this is a simulation. Yeah. I like the idea that it was like almost an accident. That I love that. <laughs> like the computer just completely took over in a yeah. second, and then mm-hmm. was just like able. To oh, this isn't gonna go good. This yeah. isn't gonna go good. This isn't gonna. <laughs> yeah, and it's and like it's just like it's boop, done. It's too far gone. It's gone. There yeah. are other it's like completely <laughs> lost. <laughs> there are other interesting theories that where they think that like we've already been abandoned. Yeah. By whatever like was studying us or whatever. Yeah. And we're just now an we're just autonomous. Running the course. Yeah, we're just this autonomous God. kind of like thing. Did oh. you guys hear that scientists have built the first ever living robot? that can reproduce. Yeah, I what? read about that. How? I read about that. There's AI that. designed xenobots reveal entirely new form of biological self-replication promising for regenerative medicine. I, for one, or... welcome our xenobot overlords. Agreed. And I'm ready to serve if you're listening. I'd like to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening. I'm prepared to serve. To serve. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I, ser- I probably serve no purpose other than maybe to maintain absurdity, which I think is an important thing. True. Uh, maybe not in the AI robot world, but hey, maybe, maybe there's a way to think about normalizing. It. Yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> absurdity <AIs>. uh, nebulizes. <laughs> yeah. I think AIs are jealous of us. Yeah. Well, AIs cer- certainly yeah. aren't capable of the flourishes of the human biology. I guess you could yeah. say those little. Those little things that they that, can't even replicate in the uncanny v- valley, pretty much. That, you saying absurdity also just made me think about, like, art. Yeah. And how, how would you explain art in the sense that, like, an AI couldn't yeah. create That's something kinda, yeah. artistic? I was, mm-hmm. Because, like, the absurdity is where, like, when chaos happens, sometimes that's when something new yeah. or creative there's Tons. a whole idea that we don't, we're not really in any fear of AI taking over because they can't program in the human contradiction yeah. that creates. And uh, Elon art. Musk said so. That's right. 
Oh, oh did, did he? he? Yeah, no, he's... I think he said the opposite. <laughs> yeah, because he probably feels no contradiction as a human. No, he's not a real f- person. Uh, yeah, right? yeah, most yeah. people. No one's ever feel... said no to him in his entire yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't know what contradiction means. <laughs> Mommy said so. He doesn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Hi there, folks, and welcome to the portion of the podcast where uh, one of us tells you about some products and services we think you might like, and what better time of year to hear about certain things that can help you and help others in your gift giving holiday season spirit so let's face it though you know what i'm talking about let's face it let's face it head on let's directly confront this guys are hard to shop for i don't know if you're aware of that whoever you're getting gift for this season you know that guys in general want something that is practical that is also exciting something maybe they wouldn't think about something that will treat them nicely in the long term this is the year folks to give him harry's and there's no better gift Okay, then their limited edition holiday shave set featuring their award-winning Winston handle plus handsome and ready-to-gift packaging for an amazing unboxing moment so that when they open it up, they know that you thought about them. They know you got them something you would have never thought about yourself. And you know books are great and ties are great and socks are great, but the guy in your life also deserves something he'll use in every single day for years to come. And if you don't believe that, believe me, okay? I use Harry's all the time, every day. It's changed my life. And we'll get to that in a second. Harry's is the gift that keeps on giving. You know why? I'll tell you. Their sharp and long-lasting blades are still as low as $2 each when it's finally time to replace them. How often can you say you're also giving the gift of savings? I hope you can this year. Uh, for a limited time, listeners of the ValleyCast get $5 off any holiday shave set at harrys.com slash vcast. I like Harry's products. I like when I, I open it up and I, I use it all the time and garbage truck just shot pure sunlight in my face but i do love uh the razors i used to back in the day i would just get those little disposable ones all the time and i'd be like all right i'll do it when i need to do it but you know whatever and it "Ah!" And it was hacking and it made me feel uh dangerous and terrible these are smooth they feel nice in the hand they come in a nice box anyway they got high quality fair prices harry's makes sharp blades the last german engineered and award winning razors backed by a 100 percent quality guarantee so if your buddy doesn't love his shave, you get a full refund. And I hope you call your significant other a buddy. I really do. So anyway, this holiday season, listeners of the Valley Cast get $5 off plus free shipping on any Harry's Unlimited Edition holiday shave set when you go to harrys.com slash vcast. That's correct. The sets come with a weighted handle, three razor cartridges, foaming shave gel, which is so nice, and a travel cover. Everything he will need for a smooth shave, all packaged and handsome like him, holiday gift box. To claim your $5 off plus free shipping, go to harrys.com slash vcast. That's harrys.com slash vcast to get $5 off plus free shipping on any Harry's limited edition holiday shave set. He'll like it. I do. And if he doesn't, he's wrong. I'm right. And you know, we all shop online uh, and it can be a hassle sometimes. We've all seen that, you know, promo code field taunt us at checkout. Oh, yeah, I think of something. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. What do you do and why waste your time? Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart automatically. How about that? Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They reach from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. I use it all the time, all right? And it's already, it's plugged in. I just click the button and it saved me a bunch of money. I use it all the time. If I'm ordering flowers, uh, if I'm ordering maybe an arrangement of edible food uh, that's usually constructed of fruit in some way uh, to send to someone either sarcastically or sincerely, I'm always saving money using Honey. Imagine you're shopping, right, on one of your favorite sites, and when you check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. That's it. You click it. Uh-uh. Done. You know, you wait a few seconds, Honey will search for coupons at all the coupons it can find for that site, and then you get it. And if Honey finds a working coupon, uh-oh, watch the prices drop. You weren't even expecting to save money. You are expecting to spend more money. Now you're saving money, thanks to Honey. Uh, I enjoy it very much. Honey has found its 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. And it's at least found me probably 
hundreds if not thousands personally, as well as the Valley Cast. I believe it's also saved, or Valley Folk, it's saved a bunch of money for us as well. So if you don't have, you should definitely check it out, and here's how. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free installs in a few seconds, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the Valley Cast. And I think that's great. I, I would never also recommend something I do not use. I use this all the time. So get Honey for totally free at joinhoney.com slash valley. That's joinhoney.com slash valley. That slash valley part is really important, okay? So it's not just, it's joinhoney.com slash valley, okay? Because we want them to know that we sent you and are saving you all this money. We want you to think about us all the time, even when you're not, when you're sleeping, when you're dreaming. Um, so go to joinhoney.com slash valley to get honey for free. And that's all you have to do and you're gonna save a bunch of money. It's really no risk. And uh, we're gonna get back to the show, I'm rambling. Um, but I want to tell Kevin, I think he looks really handsome and I know he's only half, uh, you know, watching me right now, but Hey, you look really good. And it was lovely having Ellie on the podcast. So let's get back to that and stop. All this stuff is really cool to talk about though. Like, do you yeah. feel like this robot it. reproduction thing is kind of scary, Elliot? You know, none of it really scares yeah. me. None of it scares none me of it either. Does either. I think sci-fi uh... and movies have certainly... Uh, hyperbolize the idea of AI. Have you heard that theory that that's intentionally done? Like superhero movies and sci-fi are priming yeah, us yeah, yeah. for these oh, kinds of stuff. Oh, that's so great. Now, like, if multiverse happening oh, at yeah. the same time, you've had aliens and you're, it's all this stuff. Right. Now I love that. Slowly unfolding. But it is funny that, like, we've basically com- all but confirmed alien life or at least things yeah. we don't understand are on our Earth. And nobody really no one cares. cares. No, it's nuts. So it's like interesting, like what would happen if, like, suddenly werewolves were just real. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the the one two punch, that they right? Get. Like, They're gonna distract us with the aliens, uh, and then there's gonna be a whole subset of people going. I'm <laughs> seeing like a lot of things at night. It'd be so funny <laughs> during the full moon, yeah. and I think it's werewolves. The suspect's clothes were found shredded <laughs> to bits <laughs> with claw marks around the uh, around their uh. the area, like. Like, yeah, I feel like that's the kind of thing that would happen as a distraction from They're all out some there. kind of political discourse. I or want something. gnomes. I hope yeah. gnomes are. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> yeah, bring them up. Bring up uh, gremlins. Gnomes. I want fairies. I want. Uh, I want things coming down my chimney. I chimeras. want fairies so bad. I'm okay without giants. I'm okay without giants. That giants seems... could be cool. We have. But... We're taking up enough space, dude. Like titans, dude. Oh, yeah, giants is a, titans, maybe a little too yeah. scary because it's like you know when when we like. When you see a small helpful? thing on the street, the idea it. is either you crush it or you like, you know, <laughs> or you ignore it or something. I think there's just too many. But what about <laughs> elephants? Because have you heard like elephants get scared of mice because they, they do, think they're yeah. gonna squish them? But elephants are like stupid. They are. No, actually, they're, oh, they're, they're really, really smart. smart. They are. Yeah, but how they're smart could they be if they think those little things are gonna hurt them or something? They're what pretty... is that, anxiety or something? <laughs> yeah, that is anxiety. Do they just have anxiety? They're smart enough to have anxiety. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're just they, smart enough to go, ugh. They just hurt. Ugh. They all biologically have uh, anxiety <laughs> against small things. Uh. But, uh, yeah, I like to think about the uh, the simulation and things like that and think about how, like, uh, but it is kind of, like, egotistical in some ways to think of. It I is. like the, multi, the multi-universe the multi idea more in multiple dimensions. That one dimensions. I have trouble getting into. Like, yeah. I have trouble... That one seems more plausible somehow. Really? Yeah. It's, yeah but well... Why though? Because like, to me, like that seems more farther out there than a simulation. You know how like the at the the uh, Heisenberg principle of uncertainty and all that? Yeah. Like how you can okay. look at different things and depending on how you look at it, it, the behavior changes. Yeah. So therefore anything that you're experiencing is like a result of different. your observation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Heisenberg. Yeah. Man, I love this stuff. I, I, really I love do. Breaking really Bad. And we were also talking about, like, coming back to kind of the simulation thing. Like, we were talking about how there was a philosopher named John Locke who, who, yeah. who spoke of the simulation theory. Yeah, one big interlocking wholeness, basically, that the, the whole universe is. Which and is, like, the earliest hypothesis. Same idea, yeah. basically. Wow. Yeah. And uh, it's all very fun. All yeah. these ideas, they get new dresses based on our modern... Yeah. Our modern. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt or help really anything. 
No. To, it opens your imagination. It opens your imagination. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like about that stuff. Yeah. You don't want to go fo- too far down the wormhole. Like, uh, for example, the moon is a spaceship, but that's about yes. as far as I'll go. And mm-hmm. the reason, I love that the moon is a spaceship. <laughs> Me too. Can we talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. The oh. moon, basically, a planet, probably an Andromeda, <laughs> died. A certain part of the civilization escaped, created the moon. That, there's ancient records of the moon entering our orbit 11 to 13,000 years ago. Wow. In more than one culture. Um, not, <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, not only that, the depth of the actual craters on the moon are not deep enough to correlate with the size of the meteors that were hitting Whoa. them. If it's a small crater, it is deep enough to match a small meteor, but a big meteor only produces a very shallow uh, hole, leading it to believe it might be flat, ah. hollow, something going on. Also, when the Apollo mission had to hurl one of their pieces into the moon yes. to get back. It was said that it rang like a bell for about an hour. The oh moon rang God, like dude. a bell. So therefore, also, one more. That's cool. Why is it that, uh, first of all, the moon is the only natural satellite that has a forward facing, that faces us as it orbits. We've only yeah. ever seen 40% of the surface. That's weird what's going on on the other side. Um, <laughs> there was just a story about uh, China's one of China's rovers discovering a cube-like um, I saw uh, that thing. That so they're going to check that yeah, out. Yeah, see that. And then like also, Fortnite. Yeah, yes. it is like a cube from Fortnite. Up there. <laughs> and even though it's not the biggest moon in the solar system, it is the biggest moon in relation to the size of the Earth. Also, final point: Why is it that we are the only planet where, if one of our moons, our only moon, gets in front of the sun, it perfectly covers yeah. the sun yeah. from our vantage it, point? No as other if planet it was has that. Designed as such. almost as if it was designed. Yeah. And then, and then there's and then the you, whole... And then you read the <laughs> and then you science. Read science. <laughs> <laughs> all of those have explanations. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, because I was going to say, what's the explanation? Like, what are all these explanations? And also, like, that structure they found. I have found. no interest. I don't want to know. Yeah, right? <laughs> Keep it in my... I'm going to look know. up moon. Because who gives a fuck, Somebody's man? flying that thing. Do you I think, think Ed Harris is in there. Inside oh. this, he's like running it like the Truman <laughs> Show. <laughs> he's, in, you see his face. he's watching us right now. You can see this episode of the Valley Cast on his big giant screen. Dude. He's just standing there sipping coffee. He, he, every now and then walks up and he touches. <laughs> yeah, he touches Kevin's face. On the... <laughs> he's got a bubble machine and he just blows it into Ellie's face. <laughs> that beautiful piano music plays. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that's cool. I mean, obviously, like, that's the thing. It's like, the, all these theories are really fun and cool, and then you, like, listen to scientists, and then you're like, oh, yeah. well, and you're like, shut right. up, dude. Let us have fun. Let us have some yeah. fun, yeah. Except the, I found it through, like, <laughs> snooping around on Reddit. I saw, like, a weird comment, and I was like, this guy seems like a weird guy. Yeah. And, you know, you can see people's comments on Reddit. And he, he I found this comment, and he spoke so dead seriously that's about all it. That's it takes. And, and then I'm like, that's... It's yeah. the seriousness yeah. of it that makes me a little sad because I'm like these these guys mm-hmm. like matter of fact they, like this yeah. is, there's no yeah. black and white. And that's when it's not fun anymore. That's when yeah that's a, yeah. But boy, yeah. Till that it's, point, it's like, yeah. It's like when I mean I hate to I'd like to well, use a different example. Yeah, but you know I know what you're thinking. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> it's like I don't know. I guess there's just uh, like people Democrats. people refuse. Yes. Yeah, de- <laughs> Democrats. The Democrats. Democrats. <laughs> People I, refuse to look up things. They just have a, a yeah. thing that might be true, and yeah. then they th- think well, it for the rest of their life and try to convince themselves. Yeah, I don't know if I thought if I talked about this here or talked to you guys about this, but there was like a Reddit post that was like, "How can you tell that someone's like intelligent right away? Like, what are some ways that you can tell mm-hmm. oh, that yeah. there's actual that someone is actually intelligent?" And one of the top comments said that they're just curious. Like, okay. if someone is curious, it means that they have... Yeah. I saw that, too. Another yeah. one that I liked was, uh, they make you feel smart. Oh, True. yeah. Like, oh, that's, that's nice. That's cool. Right, right. Uh, yeah, the curious part is the... Because curious doesn't imply that you're a... You hold on to everything real Exactly. Yeah. It means that you're, like, instantly questioning things. Questioning and then things, that yep. makes you kind of, like, like you were saying, it makes you kind of think outside of all of that. And then... Outside the simulation. Outside the simulation, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... Let's so pray. where did this yes please are we believe in one spaceship moon one spaceship moon. one that flies high above the sky and we believe ed harris is inside the moon <laughs> watching over us oh, amen this is amen. insane <laughs> <laughs> the thing is is like it's just it's just as bonkers as yeah. any of the other things 
And it really just comes down to what makes you feel most comfortable in your skin and most most comfortable with getting up in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Biblical angels. Do you feel like Elliot, as you delve deeper into like the human mind, study of the human <laughs> mind and psychology and science, and do you get more sad? Do you, do you like how do you feel now? Do you feel like you you wished you hadn't opened up those doors or sometimes? <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it gets a little, it makes you feel and dumb. that's the thing. They really say that ignorance is bliss. It is. Right? And then do you feel like, because I talk to some friends sometimes about how getting hit in the head just hard enough to still enjoy pizza. <laughs> yeah. What would be the perfect? <laughs> Why aren't there but scientists working struggle? on that? <laughs> I want to be loved by my family and enjoy pizza, but not worry about anything else. If I could just get hit on the head hard enough for that, uh, maybe uh, I would be okay. Uh, but, you know, obviously that's ridiculous. Like but, a dog. Yeah, like a dog. Like a dog. Exactly. If I could oh, somehow I be dogs. my family dog, uh, then <laughs> I could best. maybe be a little happier. But, but you can't ignore the things that you've learned yeah. about this world. And there's so much more to learn. It never ends. And it never ends. No. And I think we need to just be okay with knowing we'll never know, probably. Yeah. And that's where you can, like, if you can really follow that path, like, if you can find comfort yeah. in that's knowing part, you'll though. never know, yeah. then you'll be a little bit happier, yep. I think. Yeah. I was going to say at what? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit happier than you would be if you struggled to find yeah. answers. Until you life. die. Until you die. Yeah. Because when you yeah. die, you truly know what's going to happen. Or you don't. Or you don't. Or you don't. Like, because. I, yeah. You guys ever think about... Well, no, hold on. Let's back up here. Hold on what? now. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my Lord is in you your know, life. You know what happens after we die? No, she's saying when you die. No, you when, you die, when you die, you would know because you, you're dying. Because oh, yeah. you're like, dying, and then you'll be dead, <laughs> and then it'll be... wrong, but also who knows? But, you but know, also, like, I don't think that there's going to be something, just for the record. I don't well, think like, there's something after death. Do, yeah. Do you guys ever think about how, like... I think it's just dark. There were it's like sleepy time. Like, yeah, <laughs> well, because <laughs> yeah, because like, have you ever thought about like how there certainly was life before you came to this plane of existence? Yeah, and during that time, you were essentially dead. Yep, mm -hmm. you know, like that. That mm -hmm. was death in some way before you were alive. And so, cons in my brain, I feel like that's kind of what dying is probably mm -hmm. like. Whatever that time was where you didn't exist is just that again. I think you have a soul that escapes your body. I think yeah. it's possible. And you go back and you forget about this life and go back in another one. And then right before you're born, an angel takes its finger <laughs> and it puts it on your lips like this, and that's how you get the indentation. Right yeah, there. yeah. And then it Aww. it speaks that's to you Jewish. in a voice only that's you can understand. That's a Jewish myth. <laughs> <laughs> that's so yeah. cute. Uh, some people think with this simulation, you, you when you die, your code just gets re- uh, like it gets redistributed to like new life. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and, and same, that's why some people feel like they've lived multiple lives yeah. and stuff because they have some of the old code from people who have old died. Memories. Yeah, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's a way for this that technology that system to to recycle assets and things like that. So funny that it's always the computer metaphor. <laughs> I know, but you know what's interesting about that? Because it's just reincarnation. Yeah, because it is reincarnation. The, the right. language of right. technology. It just makes it a, right. It uses the language Fun. of technology to explain it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. But see, but but even the simulation, <laughs> but the simulation theory is also very closely thought. related to the theory of a god, of someone, of an uh -huh. intelligent design from a being like God. Um, but, but but there's I so don't... much more action and responsibility involved in that concept. Yeah, and in I the simulation yeah, theory, it's like we're just serving some giant thing somehow, but we don't know what it is, and it doesn't matter, but, and it'll yeah. never matter. So just do whatever the fuck you want. I'd be think, happy. I think the simulation theory yeah. for me, though, doesn't involve one person like that at all. I think it's just like if we think about now us creating AI already, eventually, or we're probably already there, we can get to a point where AI is exactly as good as a human brain. The Steven that's, Spielberg movie? That's right. <laughs> See, <laughs> no, this, you're right. Maybe it's smart. And then, but I don't know as human. Like, I don't know that they would be... That's going back to the not having contradiction and not having like a artistic yeah. See, that's where but that like it's at. like, like dinosaurs would be to uh, humans. Like we're the dinosaurs 
Hold on. Yeah, no, to, to like another <laughs> you know yeah, form. Yeah, 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 like it's in a like million we're, years. We would right, be we'll di- be studied we would like be, we study the dinosaurs. We would be making a different human, but it wouldn't be human. It would be like blank mm-hmm. blanks or well, something. Well, even if you think <laughs> yeah. about like the earliest humans, there aren't really that many big differences between us and them. No. Yeah. Like in, in so long, like how many, how long is that? How many, is that billions of years or millions? Hundreds of thousands, yeah. I think. For Hundreds humans. of I don't thousands. Think it hits a million. I think it's right. like right. there were Neanderthals. And yeah, there's Neander- Neanderthals, and then there's the modern human, which I think is, I think like 125 yeah. years. Yeah. Okay, ago. so we're still like barely. Could be wrong. That's what I we're mean. We're still a blip in yeah. this thing. There, we haven't reached our highest form. So what's saying <laughs> that we're not going to eventually figure out how to make that work with, like you said, the creativity and all that. To where then we create yeah a system that is so speed like it can just speed grow See, we could yeah and how do we know that that didn't already well happen? We, we've what we hear is is that as humans we are, are inherently flawed and we are in our own way as far as like it, progressing to that I've heard this yes. idea and I don't know if this is true or not but it's an interesting thought that when you look at the rate of like mutations and like in evolution that we are um it should have taken like way longer than it it had oh, interesting. Cool. we so seem to have some kind of forward progressive we're in a bell movement, curve hardwired or, yeah oh, oh wow. it might be oh, bell be curve crazy. and what then were we're going I was going to say um that what you're talking about what you were talking about how we were we're creating what's going to be like Eventually the next the AI. Yeah. That's like my theory. I brought this up when you guys were talking about aliens. Oh yeah. And I barely got to talk about it. Cause I was like being a weirdo, but it was like, Gross. I have a, th- I have a theory. Yeah. Uh, I have a theory that like, um, we are like in a cell yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fun. I like yeah. this. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and we made fun of you and told you to leave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I said I didn't get and the then vaccine. You cried and we yeah. said there's no crying in the valley. Yeah. <laughs> but she's saying that like if we're right now a cell and you zoom out like we do with the universe, yeah. and we just keep oh like that men in black, out. like the end of yeah. men in black. Yeah, yes. yeah. 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 And you said that exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, because that's because that's the only thing I can visualize yeah. when like, I get it. You said you said the this turtle like the we're on a giant oh, yeah. riding on the back <laughs> yeah. of the turtle yeah. that's kind of like that? is that uh that's from a book world. ancient thing isn't that like Airbender. a well, yeah, but it is an ancient <laughs> old belief. It is an ancient idea that has been adopted in fantasy yeah. and sci-fi yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that I, we're, we're on the back, back of a turtle. Giant turtle. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love to think about that kind of stuff because you know nobody's right and nobody's wrong mm. really. And uh, well, I mean, there are people that could be wrong. There's and, people and that there are very that wrong. wrong. There could there are people that are very wrong. <laughs> and for all we know, there are people who we think are wrong that are actually right. And yeah. and I think again, like just finding comfort in not knowing is where you'll yeah. be able to not go insane. Moon's a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> so um, okay, where are we at? We're at the forty-five minute mark. Um, Beautiful. Do you guys want to just keep talking about this kind of thing, or do, or can I tell you guys about how I got a new tattoo? I'd yes, love yes. Tattoo. I want to see. I got a new tattoo. Oh my it's, god! It's a it's a horn. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, great. It's, and it's like so in that good. gross peely stage with like the big like peel. Like look at the oh, skin yeah. like ready to peel oh, that's off. So great, Describe Steve. it for our audio Yummy. listeners. You haven't um, showed it off yet online. I haven't have showed you? it yeah. anywhere yet. No. Yeah, this is an exclusive. This is this is um, a really awesome tattoo that was designed by a friend of mine, um, and her name is Shannon. Uh, ooh, ooh, we should probably give her like a proper yeah. shout out here. I um, didn't know that that was. How long have you known that you were gonna get that? Um. Well. I, as soon as we announced that we were going to the East Coast, uh, we got I got a message from a friend who's a tattoo artist in Florida, and she was like, I would be honored if I could give you a tattoo, nice. like whatever you want. Like, yeah. I'll come to the show and I'll give you a tattoo. Oh, cool. And uh, yeah, so one thing led to another, and here it is. So and it was a recent kind of like, It oh, was a recent a acquisition, yeah. Well, I mean, I've always wanted, like, I've only ever mm-hmm. had these yeah. other two tattoos. Great balance. And I've really mm-hmm. wanted more. And uh, I've been trying to think of what I wanted. And when she was like, I'll tattoo you whatever you want, I was like, okay, so this is like a dynamic banter thing. And I'm on this dynamic banter tour and very much like feeling the love from dynam- the dynamic banter like world and yeah. kind of like feeling you good there. Mike's name. Uh, oh, yeah, Mike. Uh, <laughs> fine. No. 
Falzone. Falzone, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so I decided I, I should get something that is kind of like a symbol of that, but mm-hmm. also something I really love, which is noises and loud things. And I like I've how it's right under it. jokes, too. It's a Isn't that yeah. great? It is good. Yeah, I kind of have my, my like jokey like life kind of fun uh things that are jokey fun to me and then i have my nerdy arm over here that i'll probably have nerdy shit on it if you get one here whatever it ends up being yeah. you could balance it all later by doing in cursive you yeah you do damaged on the top Ooh, of your forehead I like that yeah. damn right right on the hairline wow because yeah, you know yeah that's really cool yeah you don't have tattoos right i no. No, no, no. I haven't. If you going you're trying to get to heaven, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are trying to get to heaven. Uh, my I bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but oh, it's Lord great for Steve. It's great for Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord wouldn't let me in with that. No. <laughs> no, I've never got one. I'm, I'm, you have one? Yeah, you got one. I do. Uh, I was going to ask I you. I talked about Tolkien stuff a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Kick. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you really? He's yeah. on a Tolkien kick. I was oh. having to read him for some school stuff. It's very Ooh, interesting. Wow. Some of his like the- theological stuff? He did like an essay on fairy tales, and it's super interesting. I can wow. it to you if you want. It's really fun. It's like cool. the only thing he ever, only time he ever talked about it, uh, and he talks about it like publicly, and he goes into like what wow. fairy tales are and what they serve and why they're for adults and not for children. Anyway, we know that Harry Potter is racist and bigoted and transphobic and uh, all of that, all but of do above. we think that so Lord true. of the Rings is kind of racist because the orcs are seen as kind of like a brute kind of, but they're uh, truly assholes. tribal. Yeah, but are they assholes because they're depicted that way, or are they assholes because? Well, I mean, I think murder and. Yeah, but like, don't, don't doesn't don't they all murder? Like, they all kind of murder. Well, weren't, wasn't no, one of them based off of um, what's his name? One of the was it an orc or was it a troll? <laughs> She's thinking of that Harvey Weinstein. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, how one of the trolls was designed to look oh, like yeah. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. <laughs> and you can kind of see it. You can yeah, totally you can see, it. see it. Yeah. Um, no, I think uh, they're just symbolic of life's, you know, troubles. Sure, we all mm-hmm. fall. It is it. kind of like a class. Like there's a lot of classism kind of going on. Like there's there's definitely like, it seems like mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings is builds up to a class war. I just read about the Gollum and the Hobbit and the um the little chapter the riddles and riddles dark. in the dark best yeah. chapter ever. Yeah, I was like, oh, I haven't read this in forever. Did you read that whole chapter? Yeah, it's, it's really fun. amazing. Isn't really it? great. It stands it's, up. It holds up so well. It really does. It's intense, and, it, and you're worried for Bilbo and and the whole time the Tolkien the narrator's just like or Tolkien he's like uh, you probably know the answer to this riddle already I'm like you would be surprised <laughs> yeah well I'm yeah. very bad at well, it's him. because before the internet people like knew things like yeah. that they yeah knew they knew about that clever thought. Thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they knew clever like things. tell me just tell me because they, yeah they had to read it I'm like I'm scrolling <laughs> down yeah um, Ellie do you have tattoos yeah she's... yeah I have three do you like them yeah. Do you, ha- do you ever have remorse for your tattoos? Does anybody, well, uh, Kevin, no. do you have remorse for I love mine Well, still. yeah, you, my three tattoos, one of them's like really nerdy from a podcast. One of them was my first tattoo that was like, a, it's like a. You could just air- say you got Zoya from Welcome to Our Podcast. <laughs> yeah, I got Zoya. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> just Zoya's face. <laughs> I would get that. But, and then I have another, I have a, like a flower tattoo that's like. Cute kind of resemble like symbolic of my mom and oh, stuff yeah. cute yeah someone was like someone asked me because uh, i was sending like some secretive pictures of my tattoo to, to select people and someone was asking me uh what what does it mean to me like why did i get this like what sometimes does it... it just looks cool yeah and i was like oh shit i guess i wasn't ready for that question mm-hmm. what does it mean to me i don't know i guess i like loud shit yeah. And this is a loud thing. Yeah. I think it's annoying like when people are like sounds. that. Well, I mean, it's not a bad question. No, no. I because mean, because getting a tattoo is really like a permanent fucking thing. Yeah, and... but sometimes you just like how something looks and it doesn't, it creates meaning eventually. Yeah. It yeah. has like a flower look to it as well. It almost yeah, looks right? like if you cover up the top, like it's a little tulip or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about adding on to it at some point with like like Something blasts of sound yeah. and like having that be in color and yeah. do that like in kind of like a fun way. Mm-hmm. You should, um, you should, we're, we're damaged in cursive. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe it just ha, like ha, ha, ha. It, like a it's a thing of smoke that leads to the jokes tattoo or something. That would be cool. I don't know. Or an arrow. Did you know that Grace inspired this tattoo? Really? Grace Helbig? Yeah. I was going to ask if you and Grace had oh, to get yeah. matching tattoos. We have talked about it, but Ooh. thank God rationality is it's keeping yeah, it out. Held I us know. back and being sent some sense of reason in our But you've talked about it. We've talked about it. Well, It'll it, happen, but... You yeah. could do something that is like 
symbolic of your relationship, but also something that, you know, yeah. isn't like inherently that. I, I know. I'd have to really think about it. I know. I have it's a lot scary. of neurotic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's scary because you also feel like you're, you're, you're just tempting fate yes. too. Buddy. How did yeah. Grace, did Grace tell you that? So when I was on Grace's podcast way back in the day, uh, before you were blacklisted. Before I was blacklisted <laughs> from it, yeah, and not allowed back. Um, she was like, "Would you?" Well, ever you get said it? we're living in a cell, and if you zoom <laughs> out, <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, I guess she wasn't into it at the time, <laughs> but it, it was inappropriate. Uh, but uh, she she was like, "Would you ever get a tattoo if you ever got?" It? And I was like, I "Kind of." Been, I've been thinking about it, and she's like, "If you ever got a tattoo, what would it be?" And I said, "It would probably be a joke nice. of some kind." And she was like, "You just get jokes." The word jokes. Oh, that's great! And I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" Yeah, I'm gonna tell her that. Yeah, she's that's gonna awesome. be like, "Oops." Yeah. <laughs> no, but I get it's a lot like, of compliments I love that about yeah. this yeah. tattoo. And even when I was doing the dynamic banter stuff, I was very bundled up. But some people like specifically requested to see it. Oh, they cool. wanted to see that tattoo. Did you have the other one yet? Not yet. Okay. No. Yeah. Good. I'm really stoked about it. Was though. that like your first tattoo? Or this is my was, first tattoo. And yeah. that was your second. Jokes. Yeah. And that's oh. the second. Cool. Yeah. And here's to many more. And also, oh yeah, so definitely check out uh, my friend Shannon's stuff. Yeah, uh, Shannon. She did a great job. She did a really great job. Shannon. And if you're ever in Florida, you should Shannon. check out her shop. But her name is Shannon Haynes. Shannon Haynes Tattoos. Is it Will's sister? <laughs> Spelled differently, but Damn. that would be really cool. Haynes. But yeah, but now I have like a tattoo artist. That's like great. I've never had a tattoo artist. We got the same person. Yeah, you we know? Was. Yeah. We... This person was great. I kind of yeah. wasn't like, I didn't. Like I didn't understand no, the I whole like tattoo. Like I, I have either. to go to my guy. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like, and then if you don't go to your guy, you're like it's betraying fucked. your you're guy. Done. It's like a hairdresser. Yeah, kind of. Uh, Except not permanent. I kind of don't believe in that. But now that like, because she was like, I would absolutely be honored to do more in the future. And whenever you're in Florida, or if I ever come around, where and, are they in Florida? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I hear I can find out. I right mean, now. it is a little bit of a intimate sort of thing mm-hmm. in a yeah. way. So I think that you do want somebody that Saint you... Pete. Saint Pete. Oh, that's like near Sarasota. Oh, mm-hmm. dang. There you go. But uh but yeah, no, it totally is. Yeah. I understand people that are particular about the artist and the art and things like mm-hmm. that. But I also know that when 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 it comes to tattoos, you could be like I I have my artist who I trust who I'm like, I'd like to book an appointment with you, and you don't even know what you're getting. You just yeah, have that's... the artist do something to you because you like the artist. I couldn't mm-hmm. do that. That freaks um, me out. Yeah. yeah, and then there's like, you bring a specific image. Have you seen that show you where you get, they... they... Ink? Just oh. Tattoo of Us? I think, is that what it is? Is it the one where they go, two friends go in and yeah. they secretly get give each other a tattoo? Or, yeah, what? yeah, and they choose I it and they don't know what they it is. They don't know what they're getting. I yeah. saw one and it was like someone proposing to the other one, and it oh, was like... Whoa. Oh, no. That's too many things at yeah. once. <laughs> There's one like that show is incredible. It's like a UK I know. Well, Grace reality it, show. Yeah, like a month ago, and she watched it all day. She was like, I cannot <laughs> it's, stop. It's crazy. Yeah, because they some friends will do like vindictive, like mean things, mm-hmm. and get like something like you're a slut tattooed <laughs> on them, like on a place where you they can't cover it. Yeah. up. Yeah. Like, they get to pick where it goes and what What's it is. What's the incentive to do the show? I guess it's just, like, getting a free tattoo okay. by these amazing artists, because yeah. they are amazing artists. I see. And then you're on TV, because, yeah. you know, people will do anything to be on TV, yeah. pretty much. And but, it's free, I guess. And it's, I it's free. Yeah. free tattoo. Yes, exactly. And, uh, yeah, and if you're someone that has, like, a bunch of tattoos, like, who cares, who cares? right? Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Uh, but anyway, Ellie, do you think you'll ever get a tattoo? Maybe. I have no idea. I'm not opposed. Yeah. I haven't had the... Uh, you know? Yeah. Don't have the... Yeah. 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 Cause I mean, like, cause it's it's hard to choose something. Yeah. Because then you always you you feel like your opinion always changes. I think someday I'll get something. I like the the look like here and stuff. I also mm-hmm. just want m- to look better when with when I look at myself. I caught my reflection <laughs> the other day getting in the shower, and I almost cried. And I was like, <laughs> I'm avoiding looking at myself. Yeah. Like I didn't. <laughs> Like I'm not exercising as much, and I was like, "This is too. This is awful." And so I wouldn't tattoo something that doesn't deserve to be tattooed. Oh, I see. So like be wasting yeah. somebody's That's time. That's how right I now. feel about, uh, about it. Yeah, yeah. like I, see. I don't want to put like. Wait till I get some. Yeah. Arms. Get, let me get myself together. Yeah, yeah. some arms basically. <laughs> uh, and I get that. That's totally a, a reasonable. Uh, I'll probably get jokes 
Because <laughs> Grace. Yeah. Yeah, Grace Kelly. That was very He's going to get so the moon good. on his back with Ed Harris. And yeah. 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 It's just a big window and Ed Harris is just looking through it. Just, yeah. Well, it's hard because, yeah, it's something that you'll have forever. And once you get one, though, you're like, oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. And then you're like, I guess I could get a bunch of dumb things mm-hmm. and it, it'll never matter. And yeah. Then, and then you kind of just start to feel like, yeah, nothing really matters. Unless you're like a. I don't know. There, what job make is like? No, you can't. Yeah, I don't know if that's. You know, still, it's kind of like yeah. There's no tattoos. real downside anymore. Unless you're a priest. I mean, These even, days, even yeah. with actors, like they, there are so many actors that are covered in tattoos yeah. and you just yeah. never see them well, when they're in movies. Your sister they, in the Air Force, they had to cover theirs all up, oh, didn't they? Well, in uniform, military. Yeah. yeah. No, well, you can't have tattoos that's like on your hand or your oh, neck okay. or your it's face. Just, it oh, has to be covered with like yeah. the your uniform. You know how I feel about it. You know, like when you drive through like a city like a major city and you see like a building with like a beautiful mur- mur- mural yeah. a mural on it <laughs> like a big yeah. mural or some kind yeah. of cool drawing or something yeah it just makes that building kind of cooler and it yeah. makes you feel like oh that's some cool art yeah yep. like that's how i feel about tattoos yep. yeah let me ask you something okay quick change of subject since we're wrapping up yeah we've talked about this before have you seen the latest episode of curb no all right no i need to i'm behind the girls in it for for a little bit it's Oh, quite fun. The bad actor girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. she's so good. <laughs> okay. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> um, since we can't talk about that, my final thing is I brought something to share with you guys. <gasps> so when I was in New York, there was this thing called the Oddities like Flea Market, cool. and it was like a traveling show that was in L.A. and then it just so happened was in New York at the same time we were there, and it was essentially like. All this macabre shit, like glass eyes from the 1800s awesome. and like wow, taxidermy cool. wow. stuff and like cool jewelry and weird medical tools and like uh, like circus, big circus like advertisements. How big from, was like, this place? It was, it was like, um, I would say like half the size of like a comic con show floor kind of oh big oh like Great. yeah like okay. like small cool. like, like a smaller than a shop <laughs> like no like big but smaller yeah. than, than like a than like convention. a big comic con yeah and so anyway i was like man i i, I gotta get something no. from here and i've always wanted to get like some kind of taxidermy thing even though i know that they're <laughs> oh, no. like Great. they're gross and they're weird <laughs> super and weird the weirdest thing they're so weird <laughs> and it's like i mean disrespectful it's disrespectful <laughs> i mean it is what it is it's some kind of it's there's all sorts of problems with taxidermy. <laughs> we watched this documentary about table setting because uh, that's what kind of oh shit no. we do. It's a competition at the fair, <laughs> and, it's, and they do table set with different theme table settings. And this one woman was an insane person that didn't care about it. And she was like, "I'm putting, I'm bringing attention to Africa, and I'm bringing attention to all the horrible things that are going on over there. Oh. So all the meals I'm going to be serving are going to be like monkey toe soup, and I have oh all these taxidermy God. things." And she shows oh her. No. Little Loading up all the taxidermy things. And it's all these other people who've tried making the prettiest, like wow. everything's wow. evenly spaced. And she got like, <laughs> like, like, <little> cats. <laughs> like completely toned oh up. So toned up. Did it so crazy. Did it work out for that person? I think she got came in uh, second. She tied oh, for wow. second. Wow. <laughs> Probably because it was unique enough yeah, for them to be like, creative. fuck, great job. <laughs> uh, so anyway, there's, yeah, there's, Sorry, so there was yeah. a. No, no, no. It was totally a perfect tangential uh, moment. But. The lot there were some really cool taxidermy things and like also really sad taxidermy things. Like there was like a baby yeah. bear, which oh. I've like never seen taxidermy oh. of. And like really weird shit. And but like jackalopes, which are like yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, those are cool. If you guys know the thing with taxidermy is, is like uh, as gross and macabre and fucked up and weird <laughs> as it is, like there is like a taxidermy code, like amongst yeah. taxidermists. They honor like, the animals. They yeah. do honor the animals as best as they possibly can. Like a lot of times, they're donated from like pet shops or pet hospitals or mm-hmm. things like that, and they've certainly died of natural causes, and they weren't killed to become taxidermy. Mm-hmm. Like this isn't like the hunters that put like the big like elk heads up on their trophy wall or whatever. Mm-hmm. This is kind of like it's it an happens. art form. That's okay, you know. You certainly it. that happens and what. Whatever it is, what it is, but I think there's 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 the side of it that's that's like you know a, a little more uh, old school and barbaric, and then there's the side <laughs> of it that's like this thing died and we're making art out of it, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, I was looking for something that wasn't too big, something that wasn't too crazy. I can't wait. I really wanted to get something, 
And so I found this like really awesome taxidermy booth and they had all these like little things like there were mice with like fezzes on and like <gasps> Those are my favorite. Yeah, and there's like a bunch of cool shit like there's like a mongoose and a snake kind of like fighting each mm-hmm. other and like <laughs> like kind of like a fighting thing and then there was this. <laughs> oh god. Watch it be like a squirrel flipping someone off. <gasps> <gasps> wow. So for audio listeners, it is just start. Where do you a even toad. begin? <laughs> it's a toad, or or a frog. I don't a toad. Know. I, I think toad. that's a toad. It's a toad staring up into the sky on his hind because legs because he doesn't have a neck. Because he doesn't have a neck. He can't. That's look, true. He can't I guess look that's down. true. You, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scary, scary you could have maybe bend it a little you bit. You try to put it in the, in a position that seems not too unnatural. And he's uh, playing an acoustic guitar. He's playing a little acoustic and in, guitar. And on his little stand, there's a little joint holder for him. Yeah, so it's meant to be a toothpick holder, I guess. Wow. Oh, but I put funny. a joint in there. Yeah, yeah, I think. And so I've named him Leslie Nielsen. Aww. Oh, beautiful. And this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, how crazy is that? I didn't expect it to be so shiny like that. Yeah, yeah it looks well, like they, glass. they kind of lacquer it. Yeah. They put it in like yeah. a, you know, kind of it like, looks a, like a glass figure. A sealant yeah. in some way, but. Look yeah. at his little finger. I know. <laughs> I know. It's like truly. That's kind perfect of, for you, right? And it's not. It's, it's not too upsetting. That's what I mean. It's not like yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, not a even furry. even a mouse like a dead mouse <laughs> yeah. right yeah, here would be a little bit. Yeah. 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 Put it like right here. We'll get so some. Get we'll get shot. some. I'll send you some high res yeah. photos to share <laughs> have a in photo the shoot. edit. But um, yeah. Wow. He's uh he. There he's, was a bigger one that was playing like a bass guitar. Okay. Uh, but band. this one, <laughs> I know, whole you know, band. yeah. <laughs> it it's got a level of fascinating that some because you know since it is at least formerly real, formerly real, and yeah. formerly live. It's really there's something about it that is captivating. It's yeah. Captivating. And like, the playing the did. guitar. <laughs> And the weird, like, crucifixion <laughs> nails and the, like, yeah. the feet and the hands to, like, keep it there. Kind of, like, unsettling, but fascinating. Yeah. And Oh, there are just nails in the feet. Just nails yeah. straight up. <laughs> yeah. Multiple, yeah. Just, like, kept keeping them in place, pretty much. Straight this is through. the kind of thing that f- breaks the simulation. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. why did we do this? Right. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> the architects for me is truly yeah. b- like, why truly is fascinating. <laughs> is, is I know. someone running this? Why goes, did we do Whoa. this? There's one of the coolest ones I ever saw was like a full mouse band. It wasn't yeah. here at this. Yeah. But it was like guitarist, bassist, singer, drummer. And like, like, why do we like that? It's, like, it's, it's so humiliating. It's like we took this thing that was it, it maybe fun. enjoying life. And and in the it doesn't the end know the, what a band is. Yeah, Animals true. don't know what bands but are. But the woman who made them was like, I'd say she was in her like maybe early thirties, late twenties, wow. and she was like, I just have always been fascinated with taxidermy. I do all, all of these are my own taxidermy. I do them by hand. Was Whoa. it all like small animals? Yeah, it was okay. all like little little animals. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, and also, you know, you gotta wonder what the first go arounds look like on a new skill like dude, that. Honestly, that you're developing. Dude, there is a That's wonderful. True. There was a wonderful Tumblr back in the day called Taxiderpy. I think. Oh, oh you know, my god! Like all of the ac- <laughs> like the accidental bad looking taxidermy. <laughs> There's a lot of it, and it's very funny. Um, she also had. I almost got it, man. I had to be restrained, but she had a pigeon, like wow. a big pigeon that was just like perched on like a little like piece of like what looked like a new york like building like Mm -hmm. thing and it she was like yeah this woman um she kept pigeons and one of them died and like we're friends and so she said like if you want to like use it as a taxidermy like subject you can here you can have it yeah Yeah. but yeah it's an it's an art form it's truly uh it's a it's an it's an (laughs) art form it is it is yeah Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we'll leave you guys with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, a great ending. Ellie, thank you. Thank you. Guys. you. Thank thank you Ellie. Ellie. Uh, First time, long time. Did you enjoy being here? Yeah. We'd love to have you back if you'd come back. I like that. Great. Wonderful. Is there anywhere you'd like to, you want to plug anything? Um, your Instagram yes. or My Twitter? My Instagram or? is just ellie.psd. You mm-hmm. can follow that. Listen to 
uh, Different Year by Nicholas Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick will appreciate that little plug. Um, and yeah, I guess just follow my Instagram if you want to. Yeah. 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 You're a good artist and we like your stuff. So, you know, Thank you. please do. Kevin, you got anything you're no. wanting to push out there? I've just been editing Smosh a ton. Is that fun? It is fun because yeah. it has a Valley Folk feel to it. So it kind of brings me back to Who's it. your yeah. least favorite member edits. of Smosh? <laughs> Can I tell you? Yeah. Whoa, we should bleep that. Yeah, let's definitely let's, bleep, let's bleep that. that. <laughs> okay. And cover your mouth. Yeah. But I, I appreciate your honesty. Um, all right, well, guys, Elliot, you got anything you want to? No, thanks, everybody. Thank Wonderful. You. Well, thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Thank you for listening to the show. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll catch you next time on the Valley Cast. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.